Investment advisory services are offered through Fusion Capital Management, an SEC-registered investment advisor. The firm only transacts business in states where it is properly registered or is excluded or exempted from registration requirements. SEC registration is not an endorsement of the firm by the commission and does not mean that the advisor has attained a specific level of skill or ability. Welcome to Navigating Retirement with Rick Durkee. And welcome into the program, ladies and gentlemen, another edition of Navigating Retirement with your resource and ours for a common sense approach to planning for our financial and retirement future. He is the founder and president of the Coastal Financial Planning Group, the resource for Charleston and the Low Country. Rick Durkee back again with us. Rick, welcome back. Good to see you. Hey, good morning to you, Peter, and also our listeners, our faithful listeners and watchers now on video here for navigating retirements podcast editions always a pleasure having you along with us ladies and gentlemen do want to remind you as we get started if you've got questions if you would like to request the opportunity for a complimentary review that retirement planning strategy session if you'd like more information on anything you hear on this program at any point in time. You're always welcome to be in touch. Uh, several ways that you can do that. You can visit the website, cfpgroup.biz, cfpgroup.biz, or you can give a call right now, 800-491-6220. That's 800-491-6220. Uh, Rick, on the last program, we talked about the process of defining the goals and then discussed the fact that there are strategies, there are tools that can actually allow us to define the outcome that we will achieve. Now, by and large, the American public that has been investing has kind of come to accept that there is no defined outcome when we put our dollars in the market. So the natural question that I, I, I have to ask is, how can you say that we can have a defined outcome? How do we define that outcome? How can we define our outcome when we put our money into investments that disclaim themselves and say past performance doesn't equate to future results. I mean, right. that's, that's, you know, right on, right on the cover, we're told that. So how do we define an outcome in our investing? The, fundal man, the fundamental answer is this, Peter. Um, we've been successful at building these type of plans for our clients, utilizing products that offer some form of predictability for years here at the Coastal Financial Planning Group. Actually, about 17 years now, we've been doing this type of uh, planning through income planning. But when we meet with our clients, we quickly discover what their goal is as far as receiving income on their assets earmarked for retirement or getting growth on those assets earmarked for retirement or perhaps growth on those assets that are earmarked for legacy planning uh, after we're gone. So, um, you know, our individual specific goals uh, per our prospective client or client are different. They're always customized based on what our objectives are of what we want and need our money to do for us. So, um, you know, for example, uh, most of our pre and post retirees are more focused on getting checks uh, it used to be mailbox checks, you know, we yeah. want to get income through the mailbox. Now it's just direct deposit. Direct man. deposit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and, and we avoid having to go to the bank and waiting in the teller lines because now we can't even do that in this COVID world. We're, we're waiting in the drive through line, but nobody does that really anymore. We save time. We have checks direct deposited. Um, but our younger or wealthier clients are more interested in growth. They want to take a little bit more risk. They want to see these assets grow and compound over time and see them double every seven years if we use the rule of 72, right? Right. That'd be and, fantastic. Yeah. And, and it would be if we had defined outcomes in those investments, if we set parameters for the ability for that investment to grow or that investment to go backwards a little bit if we set it at a little bit of, you know, of um, drawdown as we but, call but, it. But limiting that drawdown. Yeah. Setting, setting a, a, a point in the sand, a line in the sand, so to speak, yeah. that it will not cross, right? Right, right. Yeah, and so, you know, that in typical investing where we receive that type of investment advice from traditional 
uh, models of financial advice uh, or distribution models, I call them, through perhaps brokers or broker dealers that they work for. Um, it really doesn't work well in markets like we just saw with the uh, COVID black swan or in the two times we saw the um, dot-com bubble pop or the investment bank uh, situations in uh, 2000 to 2010. So um, now what we've learned from those um, market fluctuations is, is we need to have more of the parameters or we need to have buffers on when markets go down or barriers on when market go up because we don't want to accept that up and down volatility of the traditional investment-based uh, decisions that are made in your accumulation years. You're allowed to, you know, let the, let the risk fly during your accumulation years, but as you get closer to retirement, we have to scale those uh, investment risk parameters down a bit so that we don't uh, spend the money down in bad markets. So, Rick, we're, we're not wanting to accept as much risk. We're not wanting to see as much fluctuation. But how do we actually structure that into the plan? What are the tools that allow us that kind of control and predetermination over our outcome? Well, that's been the key to um, the next step after defined uh, goals are um, determined for our clients and potential clients at the Coastal Financial Plan Group. Next, we have to say, okay, what are the parameters that we wanna use for investment vehicles or products that will help us to achieve the defined outcome that we truly want to have in, in our retirement income planning? And so we've always used alternative investment strategies. I, I mentioned before that we are not the typical investment um, advisory firm. We do the plan first, we do the product recommendations second, okay, after objectives are determined. And so looking at things from a standpoint of that we want to make sure that um, we achieve those goals or have the defined outcomes, we offer alternatives to putting money in the bank for safety. We offer alternatives to putting money in bonds when interest rates are at historical lows and interest rates could go up and bond values could drop. We look for alternatives to risk-based investing. And on the investment side, uh, away from the uh, guaranteed income side, which we do also offer through insurance products for uh, our clients and prospective clients called annuities. On the investment side, however, we found an alternative to the annuity for people that feel that the annuity might structure things a little bit too much. It might not give us the liquidity that we want to be able to draw out uh, at a higher withdrawal rate on our um, income needs for retirement. So we've discovered that there's these products that were um, not previously available to the retail investor called structured notes. And that's what I'd like to go into a little bit of detail with you today on. Absolutely. Well, Rick, we've been discussing the annuities for quite some time. And I know that those have the ability to have uh, a good amount of predictability and, and a defined outcome for certain purposes. But they yeah. also did have some limitations. Now, no financial vehicle is going to be right for every situation. No. There's always benefits and disadvantages, but, but they can be very strong and very powerful for specific purposes. But you don't put all your eggs in one basket either, right? right. You diversify your Correct. portfolio. Correct. Yeah. So, yeah. so now what does this additional component of these structured notes offer us as far as uh, the strengths of being able to have a predictable defined outcome? Well, the structured note is one of those alternative type of investment programs that we use at the Coastal Financial Planning Group. Um, the structured note vehicle uh, has found recent favor in uh, institutional investing, okay? There's over $2 trillion invested worldwide in the structured note program, but it wasn't made available to the retail investor. And it wasn't made available mainly because of the minimums. You had to have at least a million dollars of investable assets or be an accredited investor to be able to purchase in on the institutional level into these structured notes. However, because of the registered investment advisory distribution model, the uh, structured note has now been made available to the retail investor 
through specific channels of re registered investment advisors that uh, the Coastal Financial Planning Group sought out to find so that they could offer those to our retail investors, these structured notes. Now, that's the how we found those notes. We're always challenged with finding new alternative investments for our clients, but they've got to meet that, that ultimate goal of do they match the definition of what we want for an outcome? Will they give us that defined outcome? And there's many different ways we can do that, but the structured note now offers us the ability of liquidity and also a fair market rate of return on the upside with limited potential for downside risk on the other side. So it, it helps us to define that outcome much clearly, much more clearly uh, for our investors at the Coastal Financial Planning Group. Well, we definitely want to get into a little bit more detail on how those work. And we will into continued episodes as we discuss these structured notes. And as we discuss the concept of defined outcome investing strategies or investment strategies. Uh, this is important for you to know. These are new terms, maybe, ladies and gentlemen, for you to hear. But uh, the bottom line is that you can put a plan in place utilizing specific tools and specific strategies, you can know with more certainty what your financial outcome and what your financial future is going to look like. And Rick Durkee at the Coastal Financial Planning Group can help you put that together. If you'd like to get started, again, if you'd like to find out more information, if you'd like to, to see the specifics and, and the black and white and the fine print and the writing and dig into all the details, they always welcome that. And they always also welcome the opportunity to speak with you about your questions and help get those answered and addressed. And to invite you to a complimentary three-step review process there. All you need to do to get started, pick up the phone, give them a call, 800-491-6220. That's 800-491-6220. Visit them on the website, cfpgroup.biz. That's cfpgroup.biz, cfpgroup.biz. And Rick, I know on this episode, we're not going to have time to get into uh, the, the three different markets three different types of markets and, and, and how these behave in each one. But any final thoughts before we wrap up this edition of Navigating Retirement on these structured notes and defined outcome investing? Well, uh, we do have the details available if people want to call us at 800-491-6220 today. I have a white paper that I developed for structured notes and the process of defined outcome investing. So give us a call today. We'll make that available to you. You can read ahead a little bit if you'd like on what we're going to talk about in future episodes for navigating retirement as we discuss this process. This is cutting edge. This is control. We now have control over what our outcomes will be in our investing. And so let's take advantage of that. It came about because of another market drop. And I know that most people that just looked at their statements recently for the month of March are not too happy with the results that did occur. So we need to determine what risks and issues lie ahead, and we need to take advantage of the opportunities that we're now given to be able to create these new outcomes as we prefer and as we expect. So I look forward to talking about it in more detail next episode of Navigating Retirement. And we will. And of course, you can find those on the website, cfpgroup.biz. Uh, previous editions, you can go there and subscribe on your favorite podcast outlet to uh, be notified of, of future editions of the program so you can get those details. Or once again, you can just call the Coastal Financial Planning Group and Rick Durkee, and they're more than happy to discuss and, and provide you with the black and white and all of those details on how you can define your financial goals into the future and then structure a plan for defining find outcome investing. Uh, again, something that is, is available institutionally previously, but now is available through the Coastal Financial Planning Group to everyday investors, uh, a means to define your outcome when you invest your dollars and put them to work. If you'd like to find out more, pick up the phone, give a call, 800-491-6220. That's 800-491-6220. We'll talk to you again real soon here on Navigating Retirement. And Rick, we always appreciate your time. Thank you. And thank you to our listeners here on the podcast, Navigating Retirement. Hey, if you just got a quick question you want to ask, you can always text me, Rick D., 
802-555-8888. Look forward to seeing you again at the next edition of Navigating Retirement. Catch more of Rick Durkee and Navigating Retirement by visiting cfpgroup.biz. While we believe the information in this broadcast is reliable, we cannot guarantee its accuracy. Opinions expressed are subject to change without notice and are not intended as investment advice or solicitation for the purchase or sale of any security. Please consult your financial professional before making any investment decisions. Investment advisory services are offered through Fusion Capital Management, an SEC-registered investment advisor. SEC registration is not an endorsement of the firm by the commission and does not mean that the advisor has attained a specific level of skill or ability. Investment in securities or the market involves a potential risk for loss of principal. Trading, therefore, may not be suitable for all listeners. Annuity guarantees are based only on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing company. Withdrawals of growth from annuities may be taxable as ordinary income in the year it is taken. Individuals should review contracts for specific details of the product's features and costs. Early withdrawals may subject the owner to penalties, fees, or taxes. Fiduciary duty extends solely to investment advisory advice and does not extend to other activities such as insurance or broker-dealer services. Advisory clients are charged a fee for assets under management, while insurance products pay a commission, which may result in a conflict of interest regarding compensation.